Hello everyone, I will be continuing the hybrid tutorial series here on the channel and today we will be going over the crop and resize functions in hybrid. A handful of users were requesting info regarding it and it was too much to explain in the comments section. So I thought I'd make a video dedicated to it. So without further to say, let's go ahead and get started. If you don't already have hybrid, please open up your web browser and go to salur.de. Navigate to the downloads page and download the installer according to your operating system. Follow the instructions in the setup wizard and click install. The time for installation depends on your hard drive speed, but should take no longer than 2 minutes. After the installation, please open up hybrid and you should be presented with this window. The first thing we want to do is open up our video that we want to crop. To do that, click this folder icon in the upper right hand corner. Select your video and select open. Please wait a few seconds for the video to be analyzed. For the video processing, please select X264 as the encoder and for the audio, select pass through all. Next, head over to the filtering tab in the bottom right hand corner, please select the support drop down and select no X synth. We will not need to use AVI synth or vapor synth in this video. The deinterlacer function is not needed either so we could simply deselect the auto checkbox. Now head over to the crop and resize tab right next to the X264 tab. Select both the picture crop and resize checkboxes. Under picture crop, select the crop style drop down and select M player in the list. As you can see, the settings have changed so we can now be very specific with the cropping. Please be aware that all of the values in the boxes are measured in pixels. The focal point for the cropping can be adjusted by using the X and Y coordinates system. The default for the X and Y coordinates is 0, 0. So the video will crop towards the upper left hand corner. After you have made the appropriate adjustments, verify before applying the settings into the final output video. To verify, select the crop view checkbox in the bottom right hand corner and select the icon right next to it. This will open up a preview window that will allow you to see what the crop will look like in the final output video. If the crop border does not surround the video, then you must go back and make adjustments. Continue to guess and check the cropping by adjusting the X and Y positions and the width and height of the crop. Watch the preview each time you make adjustments to verify the crop border's location. Next, head over to the miscellaneous tab next to the base tab. Make sure the limit resize to crop resolution checkbox is selected. This will help prevent the video from being stretched to the same resolution of the input video which could decrease the quality of the output video. After all of that and you have confirmed that the video is cropped the way you want it to be, we may now go to the X264 tab and make the final encoding settings. Keep the encoding mode on 2 pass and deselect the fast first pass checkbox. Set the bitrate according to your cropped video's resolution and frame rate. Refer to the crop and resize tab if you do not know what the cropped resolution is. For a list of recommended bitrates for each resolution, please refer to the video description. If the bitrate resolution in the description does not match the resolution of your cropped video, please choose one that is closest in the list. For the restriction settings, set the ABC profile to high and set the level according to your cropped video's resolution. A list of what ABC level to use for each resolution is in the video description. Finally, head back to the base tab and select the folder icon in the bottom right hand corner. This will allow you to set the destination of the cropped output video. Select save when you are done. Now select this icon in the bottom right hand corner to start the encoding process. The time for the encoding process varies based on the maximum CPU load of your computer, the length of the video, the frame rate of the video, and the resolution of the video. Once the encoding process has completed, you may now go to the output video's folder destination and see the results. Here are the sample video results. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have any questions, please look out for the frequently asked questions with answers in the video description. 
If none of the frequently asked questions answer your question, please kindly ask them down in the comment section of this video. If this video was helpful, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to join the Goose Flock. More hybrid tutorials will be coming soon. I will see you guys later.